Hello, it's Gabriel. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to become a VTuber. Yeah, more clearly, how to export your VRC avatar into the cute little bin that you're seeing right here. I'm so cute. But first, let me run you through all the requirements. The very first thing you need is, drum rolls, an avatar. That's, that's kind of obvious, but if you don't have one, search for vrcarena.com, click on free avatar, and you shall find one that you like. You may as well buy a model, but that's entirely up to you. Oh yeah, by the way, if you don't know how to recolor it, that's all right. I will include a bunch of links in the description. Also, please make sure that this avatar has all these blind shapes. A, I, U, E, O, blink, look up, look down, look right, blink left, and blink right. A few facial expressions can be useful, but they're not necessary. Therefore, I decided not to include them in the list. Though, if you have them, good for you. All right, so now you have your avatar and it has all the blend shapes. What do you do? First, you download VC Face, and then you download the Uni VRM package version 0.99.4. This is very important, so I'll include the link in the description. And now, for real, we can finally become a VTuber. See you in Unity. Here we go. Launch your favorite photo editing software and open any layer that you'll have opacity. What you want to do is you add the off my channel where there shall be transparency. In case you don't know what to look for, I widely recommend you check your eyes. All right, the easy part is done. Now it's time to finally become a VTuber. And trust me, you may suffer, but that's worth it. First, open your model in Unity. Now, slide in the Uni VRM package. Yeah, you, you cannot have to wait, so that, that's why I say you are going to suffer. Okay, we're back. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that all the blend shapes are at zero. I repeat, this is very important, all the blend shapes must be at zero. Then, you want to look for the navbar and click on VRM zero. Export to VRM, fill up all your information, make T pose, press on that button please, it's very important. And finally, export your avatar into the same folder. You're not forced to, but if you don't want to wait twice, I recommend you do it. So do it. If you did not listen to me, import what you just exported. Slide in the bar, hide the other one, and look for the material folder of this newly imported character. Now, for each material, change the shader for VRM slash M2. For any material with transparency, change the rendering type to cutout. It's time to change the textures. Import them all. Make sure the resolution they're in is the resolution they're exported at. If there was any transparency, select Alpha is transparency. It's now time to change the textures. Go through each material and select the appropriate texture. Earlier, I asked you to make sure that all the blend shapes were at zero. What you're gonna do now is to bind each and every one of them. If you want to apply any change to your baseline, change the neutral. It might sound a little counterintuitive, but I will ask you to trust me for now. Now it's time to add the spring bones. You can add one script for each root bone if you wish. All you have to do is to click on secondary and drag and drop your root bones. You can press play to mess around with the values, though please remember they won't be saved. Finally, select your avatar again and remove the VRM look at bone applier. Instead, add a new component called VRM look at blend shape. Now export everything again and open VC face. Click on settings, expression settings, and for each and every one of them, select additive and toggle. And here you go, you're finally a VTuber. Congrats!